All right, what's going on, everybody, and welcome back. So I was at the store the other day looking for some stuff, and I saw these have arrived on the shelves. Um, I've never opened a blaster box of artifacts. I recently opened up a hobby box of this. I got a really nice Quinton Byfield rookie, but it wasn't the best hobby box by any means. I got both of my relics were both Ty Smith cards. Uh, the autograph was not the best name for autographs, but you know what it is. I'm not going to complain. But I do want to compare this to the hobby box to kind of see what you're going to get out of here. I don't even know if you get a memorabilia card, guaranteed a memorabilia card in this. I'm not 100% sure, but they're back at it again with their confusing mind games here. Two bonus packs, but you're not going to get bonus packs. You open up, there's seven packs. It says seven packs. You're going to get seven packs. It says you get bonus packs. You're not going to get nine packs. You're actually going to get seven packs. So pretend the bonus packs isn't even there, essentially. Um, so yeah, we're going to open this up for a comparison to see this versus the hobby. I'm not really expecting anything spectacular out of here. I'm not going to get my hopes up so that that way, hopefully I will not be let down by this. So we have our first retail blaster box of artifacts here, seven packs per box, five packs or five cards per pack. Um, none of them really look any thicker than the rest. So we shall see. We might not have any memorabilia in here. First pack, let's get going, see what we have. I like in the hobby box that you get a numbered card every pack. I don't think that's the case with retail, but here we are. We shall find out. So we have James Van Riemsdyk, Jason Zucker, and Tyler Bertuzzi. So that is just a base pack. Yep, so that's base. All right, not a great start, but hey, like I said, I'm not expecting anything out of this. So we have John Gibson. John Gibson's kind of one of those, like, ageless wonders, guys. He, uh, Anaheim has never had the best season since he's been here, but that guy consistently has been a great goalie ever since he's been in the league. Jacob Verana, Mackenzie Blackwood, one of the best goalies to ever play for the Barry Colts. Brandon Gallagher, Clayton Keller. So, two for two for base packs. No rookies, no parallels, nothing yet. All right. We have another. Didn't we already get James Van Riemsdyk? Hold on a second here. We did. How are we going to get two James Van Riemsdyks in the same box? Anyways, besides that, we have Jason Robertson. Uh, Paul Coffey, that's kind of cool. Is this like a short print or something? It's like a rose colored on the artifacts. It's not silver. It's rose colored. Huh. Wonder if there's anything to that. That's a really nice looking card though. I love that old school all-star jersey he's wearing there. Thomas Shabbat and Patrice Bergeron. There's four of these packs left. I'm assuming that's one that's going to be one of the better cards out of the box just because it's a rose parallel. And, uh, it's Paul Coffey. I haven't seen any legends out of this set yet. So there's another rose colored one. Maybe I've been missing the rose colored ones in this just because uh, it's kind of hard to tell. There's not a very aggressive color change on those if you can kind of see what I'm talking about. There's a rose and there's a silver. Nicholas Backstrom. Braden Point. Three packs left. Let's hopefully at least we can get like a rookie card or something out of this. I'm not expecting any memorabilia or artifacts cards, even though the set is called Artifacts. Connor Garland, Ryan Sutter. Uh, we have our first rookie. We have a Zach Jones rookie. So we'll put him up in the back. Sergey Bobrovsky and Blake Wheeler. Looks like Winnipeg's probably going to have a rough year this year. Um, I don't know. They, they need to figure out what direction they're going for there. You got a really good core group of players. Kyle Connor is one of the best scorers in the league. Shifley, Wheeler, and Hellebuck are all great players, but they got to figure out what's going on there. We have Darnell Nurse, Joel Farabee. We have a Rose of Roman Yossi, Jake Muzzin, and Yanni Gord. Last pack. Last pack. This has not been spectacular by any means, so... Hopefully this lax pack will save the day here. Doesn't look like we have anything thick. Just looks like a bunch of base cards again. We have Semyon Varlamov, Ilya Sorokin, and we have this Connor McDavid. 
some sort of color parallel of Connor McDavid. We didn't get anything numbered, though. That's kind of a bummer. That's what I really like about the artifacts is all the numbered cards you get. We have Maxime Comtois and Ely Tolvanen. I'm back. It's cutting in. We're cutting in. We're editing in these extra goose hunts at the end of the videos now. Just because I was too excited to wait to open this stuff. Where I'm going to be recording eight videos? No, I can't do that. I have to rip this box open now. And then I'm just going to edit this stuff in at the end of the videos. Uh, Paparazzi? Who is Paparazzi? I don't know. There's so many random people in this stuff. He's a public address announcer. Uh, Mativijic? Same thing. I don't know. I don't know this guy. Ma JJ Mativijic. JJ Mativijic rookie card. We have House. Surprise, surprise. I have no idea who this is too. This is kind of exciting. I went from just seeing the same cards over and over, opening up pack after pack, and not getting anything we needed. And now we have David House, David Haas, who's a magician. Magician? No, he's a musician. Um, I don't know, Blood Harmony? Sure, never heard of him before. We have a Sammy Sosa on the Banner Seasons. These are one of my favorite looking inserts out of the set this year. I just love the look of it. I love how they've added some color. We got Liam Hendricks. Uh, why is it backwards? Oh, it's a short print. The short prints are backwards. And that one is the black border, I believe. The black border doesn't look black this year. It kind of looks brown. But we have the Liam Hendricks short print. And we have Roberto Clemente. All right. Well, that's it for that box. Uh, clearly, I think the hobby is the way to go. If you're going to get one numbered pack per box, and you're guaranteed three hits out of every box. So, I don't know. That only cost me $31, so it's not like it broke the bank or anything like that. But I definitely would recommend buying Hobby if you're going to buy Artifacts. So, we have Shane Bowers. Jake Bowers, sorry. Jake Bowers. Craig Biggio. You know what? Kevin Biggio, his son, actually had a really good year this year. He didn't get consistent playing time. They kind of platooned him at uh, second base. But uh, when he was playing, Biggio was playing really well this year. Uh, Brickley. And we do not have spinach. We have a Caldwell card. The Outer Space 47 Caldwell. We have Roger Maris on the historical hits. And Jackie Robinson. All right. Well, that's going to be it for the video today. Thanks, everybody, for stopping by. I hope you all have a great day and enjoy the polls.